this video i'll be uh, teaching you principles of impression making in a very easy way to learn and remember so yeah so starting from the principles so there are basically five principles retention stability support preservation of the residual structures and aesthetics all right now coming on to retention retention it is the resistance to the removal of the denture in a direction opposite to that of its insertion very easy to understand suppose you have something and you have to retain it so basically you have to uh, basically resist the removal in the direction opposite to the uh, direction of insertion over here now you must remember five again anatomical physiological physical mechanical and muscular remember something as map but you have two m's and two p's okay then coming on to the first one which is anatomical now size of the denture bearing area usually maxilla may it is 24 cm per square and in mandible it is 14 cm square so uh, it should cover maximum area so that uh, more retention is present okay directly proportional okay then tissue displaceability now uh, what happens is if the tissue is highly resilient it will uh, bounce back it will rebound Uh, during function, and this will lead to the loss of retention. Okay, then physiological mis saliva. Amount and consistency of saliva very important. Thin watery saliva is very suitable. Very uh, the best uh, provides the best retention. Thick and ropey saliva will decrease the retention. Physical adhesion between two different surfaces. Cohesion between two similar surfaces. Adhesion basically saliva and the denture bearing uh, material, denture based material. Okay. then interfacial surface tension this is the uh, force that is uh, present between the liquid and the two interfaces it is between something like there are two interfaces and here surface tension is inversely proportional to the wettability okay now what we see is um, denture based material has high wettability that is it has low surface tension saliva has high surface tension so basically saliva and denture based material uh, are what we talk about in interfacial uh, surface tension interfacial surface tension remember this formula k r 4 uh, r 3 i think into v niche h 3 okay now what is h 3 h 3 is the distance uh, the closer the denture base and the saliva the more is the force S surface tension okay the higher the diameter of the surface so more is the surface tension capillarity the ability to push the liquid up or down okay atmospheric pressure gravity okay now undercuts in mechanical uh, if we have moderate undercut it provides more retention but if we have severe undercut with no uh, covering it is bad for retention denture adhesive very important it is usually uh, they adhere, uh, they adhere the denture based material to the mucosa suction chamber and disc then magnetic forces neutral zone now uh, very important uh, for balanced occlusion you must always place the tooth in uh, neutral zone neutral zone is a zone in which the lingual and the buccal uh, areas have the uh, muscle muscular forces balanced okay then coming on to stability now stability is the quality of the complete denture to be firm and steady and constant to resist the displacement by functional horizontal rotational stresses vertical height of residual ridge very important if there is decreased vertical height of residual ridge it will lead to decrease in stability directly proportional quality of soft tissue uh, covering the denture uh, should be adaptable okay then adaptation of the denture to the tissue yes if it is closely adapted then it is going to be stable occlusal plane always place the teeth parallel to the occlusal plane teeth arrangement always in the neutral zone for stability contour of polished surfaces polished surfaces very important then only stability will be present support now support is what it is the resistance to the vertical forces of mastication occlusal forces and other forces applied in a direction towards the basal seat tissues uh, basically so there is something like this now what is no shoe effect uh, we uh, we basically uh, have the idea that we have to uh, have a high denture bearing area so that a lot of force is transmitted along the area then only support will be present okay then preservation of residual structures um, vitality is very important of the residual structures so uh, we use selective pressure technique only on the stress bearing areas for the uh, better reproduction of detail aesthetics denture border and flange thickness now if we increase the denture uh, border and flange thickness or we decrease it it will highly uh, affect the aesthetics border molding is the step which is uh, 
which basically decides the aesthetics so these are the principles of impression making um i hope i made it easier for you to understand and if you like the video do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching